Zach, you know mm. a lot of you know a lot of history about conspiracies and, and all that kind of I stuff. I like conspiracies. Yes. I, I want to know, because I'm sure you have quite a bit of knowledge in this, what are some of the popular theories as to the uh, creation of AIDS? I'm going to go clean my pussy out. All that's right. One. That's one of them. <clears throat> uh, the, no, that's uh, a preventative measure. <laughs> Uh, one of the theories, one of those popular ones, I'm sure you guys have all heard it on uh, the school, on the playground, when you were... The guy that fucked friends. the monkey! Yeah, yeah, the monkey fucker. Yeah. I'm sure you heard about that, yes, right? Yes, so we yeah, saw... Yeah, that's how it happened! We, so that was kind of like for Outbreak, too. They were kind of talking about... Stamper's totally a monkey fucker. Stamper sees little monkeys <laughs> at the zoo, grabs little dicks and... This is what you get, Stamper, when you talk shit, you fucking pussy. When you walk out of the bathroom, we're gonna fucking swing and break your jaw off, little bitch. You got you got to pick your job. Hey, yeah, what's up? Talk about that's 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 all. Tell our Stamper stories. All right. So when I, when I first met Stamper, he was like a big fat autistic guy. He was like, Duh. I was like, Stamper, dude, lose that <laughs> shit, get cool. He was like, Oh, and he became cool to impress me. That's right. He picked and up smoking just, too. Yeah yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He used to be like a fat guy. We all made fun of him, pushed him around, gave him wedgies, peed on him for fun. <laughs> <laughs> now he just drinks pee. <laughs> <laughs> now he just drinks Jeff, his own Jeff, pee. Jeff, what, what was Stamper like the first time we met him? I talked to him on Skype, and he said he. This is actually true, by the way. He said he. He said he fell down the stairs and lost an eyeball. That's, that's oh true, fuck, by no, way. dude! Sorry, I mean, we were just talking about like AIDS and stuff, you know. <laughs> no, you weren't. You were saying things about me. I know it. <clears throat> Sorry, I kicked the table. Also, that's not the conspiracy theory. The conspiracy theory is that the government, cre- the yeah, government they, they created a- covered it up and told everyone that a dude fucked a monkey. No, the conspiracy. Right. Well, there's a couple. The, the, I guess that would be. Well, what did you say that, about me, asshole? Urban, You'll find out. <laughs> no. <laughs> the, the monkey's like an urban legend, but the the, 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 the there is a conspiracy that the government created AIDS to get rid of gay people. Right, but then I also heard that it was created. I, I heard that one that. They created it to, to kill gay people, but then I heard that it was more of like a population control thing as well. Like that they were, well, really which we sorely need. How yeah. does one even create a super virus like that? Or like, no, it's not even a virus, technically. Right? It's like a dude in a lab with a mustache, and he's like, "Yes, this is going to kill yes. everybody slowly Sweet over the running. course of forty three years." I think it's the same way they. I mean, we have a lot of bio uh, bio weapons, bio weapons, biological warfare, biological warfare. If we wanted to kill people, it, there's quicker, <clears throat> more effective ways of doing so. Versus well, a vi- a virus. Well, if you <laughs> if you, you think about what people like you... to fuck, right? Yeah. So you give them a disease that if you fuck, you spread it. That's all we do. We you... fucking eat and fuck. Well, well, Zach's had HIV for the last 13 years, but right? It hasn't, it hasn't, it hasn't yeah. gone into full-blown age yet. Right. No. A virus is technically alive, though. Like like bio, most bioweapons could you call them if, be poison. If something oh, if, if something if something really I mean superbugs are the are a reasonable like feasible way for you know they they could be a way that we would die. Especially today, I mean the black black death killed like what one third of Europe when it happened the black plague. Yeah. Yeah, and those pass from person to person without. Yeah, exactly. Having... We have airplanes and trains up. Do people go? People fly constantly. Yeah. You remember that scene from Planet of the Apes? Yeah. The Donald Planet of the Apes at the beginning, where all the red lines went everywhere. Um, that was at the real. end. Thank you. Dude, that we've in the all seen, We've all seen that red line scene. That red no, line scene rise. happens in in every that happens zombie at the end of movie. Rise, but it also <laughs> happens at the beginning of Dawn. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm fucking sorry. It's okay. I forgive you this time. Don't do it again. Do you think the government is currently? In the works, creating a biological weapon or, or some kind of virus. I think they already have some. I think they already have to have. With the plan to wipe out entire areas. They have Absolutely. technology that we couldn't even wrap our brains around right now. I'm sure. Yeah, no, I, I'm not a conspiracy fellow, but I do think that there's definitely a lot of stuff that the government has that we can't even, we have no idea about. And what's interesting, it's not even just our government. No, no, no. Like, I mean, th- think about the other governments yeah. out there that have spent that Ours fucking is... hate America and have nothing better to do because they're not fucking making movies and, and making shows like Desperate House, they're not Desperate Housewives, but Real Housewives of fucking New Jersey. How is that any different from Desperate Housewives? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's true. They're just as fucking The bad. Desperate Real Housewives of New Jersey. I'm almost willing to bet all the secret technology the government has isn't even that No, I, I, it's like, it'd be like, oh, that's cool. I'd be willing to bet yes. that it is fairly yeah. impressive. Because the, the private sector, they're, they're, you know, they're, they have the brightest people ever right. pumping out stuff so fast. It's like, I, I don't see how, I don't see like a secret little government lab, even with a few thousand No, I'm not there. saying that there's like aliens and stuff. I'm yeah. just saying like, I, there's definitely, there's absolutely, like, I remember what Jimmy Carter, I don't remember. I'm this, not but, going that far above and beyond either, but I'm saying there, there are things that will definitely blow your Jimmy, mind, but not to the, like, yeah, we're not going to Saturn in secret. When, when Jimmy Carter came into office, he said he would like, uh, would declassify. I think it was. I don't think. It was, I think it was Area Fifty One. It was UFO stuff. When he came into office, he didn't do it because it was like a special bomber they were working on. 
So, like, you know, but we know what it is now. After It's been declassified for a little while. JFK. What about it? What was it? Okay, this JFK thing is really bothering me in the sense where everybody who thinks it's a conspiracy, who thinks there's like, there could have been, there could have been one bullet that went through JFK's <laughs> back and through uh, McC- whatever. So you think it was Oswald? It was absolutely Oswald. There was no second shooter. The only room for conspiracy, and if you don't believe me, look up, uh, what's it called? It was, um, fuck, it wasn't time. It was, uh, I saw it. I can't remember what it was. I can't remember who did it, but I'll post, uh, in fact, I'll post a couple of, of really good ones if you want to watch them, if you're interested. If you really think, if you really think uh, JFK was killed by a second gunman, there's zero evidence for it. Every recreation, every three recreation has proved that. So we lined up exactly. The, the issue is, everyone says, basically, there's a, there's a single bullet theory where they say the bullet couldn't have gone through. Basically, it was JFK in the back seat. Yeah, the, governor, the, governor, the governor of Texas in the front seat, and one bullet went through the back of JFK's neck and through his shoulder. Or sorry, through his neck or whatever, and into the governor's uh, yeah, back. So they say there's no way the bullet could have curved like fucking yeah, wanted. And- but if you look at it, the governor was not only not directly in front; he was slightly to the left, and he was elevated. Or I think he was on a different level because the chairs were different uh, heights. So it makes perfect sense. There's zero room for a second gunman. Well, what I don't understand. And is- also, the bullet, the bullet, the bullet that uh, for the gun he used does tumble when it enters the body, which is exactly what happened. They've done multiple tests on this. Every single one says it was Lee Harvey Oswald. Now the question, the question is, who did was it? What, what motivated it? I think that's the only room for conspiracy when it comes to JFK. Is like, why, do, why does it always have to be a major motivation? Maybe I'll, a guy just wanted to fucking kill the because fucking president. It's 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 this theory where it's like he's the president, he's this big, and he had to be killed by somebody who was this big too. People refuse to admit that a president could... I mean, for Christ's sake, George W. Bush almost choked out a pretzel. Nobody, nobody would have believed that. They'd be like, no, it was the CIA that killed him. Because they think presidents are more than people. A bullet killed JFK, though, it had to have been the CIA shooting, for, shooting him with a trillion different bullets from a billion different angles. Well, first of all, that's... if Obama slipped on a patch of ice yeah. and fucking broke his neck, no, it could there would be was... endless conspiracy yes. theories about... Well, that's the thing. Putin. It's like, yeah, who sprayed the sidewalk? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but then, then it's like, okay, so that's completely nonsense. It could have been fucking anybody for any d- different motivation. But the other thing is, to what end? Like, why... Shooting the president and killing the president is a pretty good fucking motivation. Everybody remembers Leo Harvey Oswald's name fucking, what, 50 years after he died? No, I mean, to accomplish what? If you have a, sp- a, a theory like, okay, they killed JFK. Because they're trying to crack reason. it open and expose. A lot of, one of the biggest theories are... Expose what? Expose the CIA because they, they the CIA really wanted, hated how... how it was um, with Cuba, right? Was pussy. Yeah, he, he botched the Bay of Pigs. They really wanted a man who was going to go in there. But who took over? It was fucking Lyndon B. Johnson. Yeah. It was Lyndon Johnson who didn't do it. Like, I don't know. Who do, you think, had, do you think Oswald was hired? That that is the only rule for conspiracy where I'll say okay maybe the only thing I think I I don't think he was hired I think he was a psycho he visited the Soviet Union multiple times he just didn't like the president people why why did uh, who's to say he wasn't hired by the the Russians then he could well I mean Russia or the had, Soviet like, Union because Khrushchev the leader of the Soviet Union really liked JFK he I thought see. he thought he was a very good leader he, I don't think he liked LBJ but the, not to get too fucking into that shit but my point is if you look into the JFK thing there's absolutely zero room for a second shooter it's stupid. It's honestly stupid. If you, there's also the moon, the the moon landing theory, it could have happened. Why not? Explain what? Yeah. Why? Be- why is it so out of the realm of your understanding that the moon landing? can't happen. Yeah, you know what's amazing is that that one hoverboard video came out and more people believed that that yeah. hoverboard video was real you know what I thought? than this fucking yeah, you no, know, you moon know what landing. I thought was, like, one of their biggest arguments was, yeah, if you take down just standard footage of a guy jumping around and you slow it down to half percent, yeah. you could tell that they just like... They just did that, but if you want, if you understand animation, like you, you see the the movements yeah. and, and what's happening. It's also 1969, dude. Yeah. There's also there's also a fucking. This is great if you look if you're inter- interested in this kind of stuff. You can look up a memo that that Richard Nixon had prepared in case they they couldn't come back. And it was like on this day we're we're so sh- these guys died heroes. And this was completely reasonable to get somebody to the moon and back. People was fucking. It was. It could have very, very easily gone wrong. I feel like, especially because recently we were able to land. What was it? A, a probe or a satellite on, on a asteroid, moving yeah. asteroid? Yeah. That you know, people could. You know, I, I think it seems reasonable we could land on what a stationary people, object. What these people? What these people? Yeah, you think? <laughs> yeah. The like Mythbusters. we're going to Mars right now, and everyone's like, "Oh no, there's no way you fucking landed on the moon, asshole." There are yeah. people that are convinced the Earth is flat. And it's not a joke. It's like a good number of people who are convinced the Earth is flat 
And then when you go into airplanes, the curvature of the earth is the airplane windows being programmed by the government. <laughs> these, these people are fucking psychos. They think every single aspect of their life. I mean, I, I think I think the biggest thing to take away from it is conspiracy theorists don't believe in accidents. If you, I, I, I'm curious. I've always one thing I always ask these people is what big event happened in the last 200 years that wasn't planned. Right. They won't tell you anything. They won't give you anything. If their brother died in a car accident, it, it was a conspiracy. The government is on to them. They, they know what they're doing. Yeah. There's no such thing as accidents. As if they're that fucking important. Exactly. Yeah. You know, humans do require a certain amount of rationalization. The idea that things could happen randomly uh, without cause, yeah. I think, distresses no, it's, people. It's, it's, it's it definitely not, not distresses to, not, people. Not to get into this area, but it's religion in some ways. You're in this some area. Way, hold on, hold on. Somebody, somebody, couldn't, somebody died? And you mean they just died? No, no, there has to be. And you start adding this metaphysical, well, there's this all-same being. Right. It's this, there's this big entity that controls everything. It's God or it's the big government. It's, it's a way for people who have no control in life to feel like they have control. Right. Who feel like there's order. Or the understand, chaotic world. right. The, the world is like... chaos. So if you add this level of like, oh, the government is, is fucking with the cheese and making people, they're putting fluoride in the water. It makes you feel like there's order. And if they, nothing they else, they have something to kill their time with. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but like, you'll never see like a, like a, like a millionaire conspiracy theorist because all, not, not, the, not if you're a conspiracy theorist, your life is bad, but I mean, there's tests that people who are in less control start adding, start seeing things, like seeing patterns that aren't there. Right. So, I mean, if you ever, if you're, it's the first thing people do. It's why a lot of unfortunate and poor people start to pray a lot. Because it, you, it's, it's your way of trying to, it's your brain trying to manage things and control things and box things up. Right now, somebody is frowning at you and shaking their head. Oh, blow me. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> this guy has no idea what he's talking about, all right? Oh, tell me, oh, tell me to watch Loose Change. Tell me how jet fuel doesn't melt steel beams. Oh, a gray alien reptoid together <laughs> flew into the World Trade Center with JFK's head. Break from the internet, yeah. Jack. How do you feel about those planes that are up in the sky shooting out noxious fumes to yeah, poison yeah. the angels? Yeah, yeah, chemtrails. The poison, what are they putting in the water? They're po- the chemtrails are poisoning the angels <laughs> that God is sending to protect us, Zach. How do you the feel about angels. that? These angels are dropping like dead birds and landing in people's backyards. People are grabbing them and fucking them. They're, they're, they're keeping them in their house and just fucking these angels. Taking their wings off. Jump you off roofs with these angel wings, but they can't fly because they're not angels. You have to have angel wings in your body. And a halo. You in a halo. Have, the halo is like your battery. Without the halo, you can't fly. Stop trying to jump off buildings without the fucking halo. Thanks, Zach. <laughs> Thanks, Zach. You helped a lot of people today. Jeff, are there any conspiracies that you kind of believe that you're like, well... No. <laughs> um, you don't think Ice Man blew ice into the World Trade Center? That, that's what caused it? I have better things to do you with You don't think time. the Incredible Hulk or pulling out steel beams underneath the, underneath the 9-11 tw- towers? I'm not, I'm not one of these people that's, that needs to feel special by believing something, knowing something other people don't yes. know. The what? Go- the government did not I think the it. government is filled with... Semi incompetent people who don't know what they're doing. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say, and that's why conspiracy theories exist. It's also not like a, an original point or whatever. But it's like, oh yeah, and then it goes. Yeah, it's like cyclical, like that. Like they think that they're super geniuses, like doing all these. Oh things, yeah, but Yo, the only, the only me, smart people are the ones like building fighter jets and surveillance yeah. systems. What, what's the Jeff, dumbest shit? <laughs> Jeff, do you know the term that they give people us, us regular guys, these conspiracy theorists? What they call us? Sheeple. Muggles. You sheep. Sheeples. You sheeple. You sheep. Uh, Might as well be muggles. <laughs> that's, that's a cool word. It's Harry Potter, man. I didn't just pull it out I of mean, my ass. I'm not a dork. <laughs> I fuck girls. I drink beer. You fucking muggle? Ew. <laughs> you mudblood? I wonder, I wonder if you walked up to like a football, football guy, if he didn't know what that was, if he'd like punch you because he thought it was like some insult because you made him feel stupid. If you called him a muggle? Yeah. You fucking I, I think muggle? they punch you if you call him a football guy. Hey, football guy. Hey, football guy. <laughs> What the fuck's that supposed to mean? 